Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to go over the rotary phase converter that I use at my shop to create three-phase power. In our last video, I showed you how to power a three-phase motor with a VFD. And this is the other popular option, is to use a rotary phase converter to make that third leg. My setup, we'll go into this in just a second as I'll flip the camera around. But uh, this is the controls that has the start and run capacitors in it. Uh, this here is my idler motor. Yeah, for all the comment people out there, yes, this is unguarded, but you can hardly get to this area that this is in. I probably should have a guard on here. Uh, the other thing is, if you're copying my design here, do not mount it to your building like I did here. Uh, this vibrates the building horribly. So I need to pour a little pad down here and get this on the ground. So most phase converters only create one voltage. So popularly, you'll take your 220 single phase run it through an idler motor like this to get your third leg and have 223 phase. Since we build control panels, we need to test both 230 and 480. And so after I create 233 phase, I run it through this transformer here, I back feed it. I've got 230 on the secondary and that creates 483 phase on my primary. So in my shop, I have 483 phase and 233 phase off of this motor. Now we're just going to do a quick overview of this in this video and we're actually going to spend a few more videos going through how this actually works. One we're going to do it inside because it's hot out here and the bugs are crazy right now uh, and I've got a setup in there off of one of our trainers that I've modified that I can show you how the phase converter works, how the start and run capacitor works and how it creates that third leg. All right, so here is my control panel for this. And before I open it up, just a little warning is this panel has been moved like four times. So no, it's not the prettiest work we've ever done. And originally it was a panel that I bought from someone else. For most of these, you'll have 230 single phase powering them, just like we did in our VFD control panel. We've got a double pole breaker in there powering this 230 single phase. And then you're gonna have an idler motor which these wires right here connect down to this motor. And then you're gonna have your three phase output. And the most important thing that we're gonna go through in the future videos is how this start relay works. And this right here, the starting capacitor, how it gets our three phase motor turning and how we use these run capacitors that you see behind it to balance those three phase loads. So with this turned off, we have power from our double pole breaker, just like you would have in your house, coming to the top of this contactor right here. This right there, we have about 250 volt AC single phase going to it. So what's gonna happen is when we start this thing, it's gonna pull in this contactor right here. It's gonna power our idler. And then this starting capacitor right here is gonna be engaged until this relay pulls in. And I'm going to leave the camera going here while I go turn this on. So hopefully we can catch that timing right there and you'll be able to see that. Then after it starts running, this doesn't do anything. It actually drops out. And then these run capacitors are used to balance the voltage between our three legs of power. Now I have a remote start for all of this inside. So I'm going to have to step inside to start this up. So... I would be back in just a second, but I'll set the camera on here so you can kind of see what's going on. So here's where we start our phase converter. And I have this wired to um, several pieces of three phase equipment that I have here. And then we also have these test plugs on the bottom of them. This is where we actually get our three phase power to test our control panels. So we'll switch this on and hopefully out there, we'll be able to see the run relay when we do this. What's happening here is this is a 220 volt relay. And so once this third leg generates power, it will pull this relay in and that's what drops it out. So once the motor starts rotating, generates the third leg, this relay will energize, drops out capacitor. But now that we have it energized, remember we had 220 volt on the top of this or 248 volt on the top of this then on the bottom of this we pulled that relay in so now we have 240 there and that's going down to this motor right here so when we power that 
along with that starting capacitor, which we're going to go further in to in the next video, there's the 240 that we're feeding it. And then here's our third leg. Now this leg is being generated. You can see it's 244 volt. If we check between these two, 242 volt. And that is our three phase power. So additionally, we're taking this 233 phase that we're generating and we're taking it down to that transformer I showed you earlier. And we take between here and here, then there you go, we have 480 volts. So what we're doing there is we're taking our 230 single phase, running it through our motor, creating our 233 phase, then going through our transformer and creating this 483 phase. So there's a quick primer on how we take 220 single phase and we're making 233 phase and 483 phase. A quick side comment is probably next time, this this panel, it, I think it's been moved four times. Probably next time we need to redo this. So maybe I'll make a video on actually building a phase converter because we added the 480 later to it and we ran out of room. And uh, so that's all I can say about the mess you see here. Next, we're gonna talk about how these actually work, how we actually generate three phase power with it. And it may be a little bit before we get to that because right now we are still doing our analog series and we have the PID series coming up. But since I just did that shaper video, I just really thought that this would be a good one to do. That way you could see both options. Like this video, subscribe so you'll know when the rest of this series comes out. And thanks for watching, till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.